revisionist history that has redefined an entire race. We were led to believe the South seceded not for slavery but for states' rights. Reality is, it was all about slavery's economics. We learned that early America was built by the ingenuity of the pioneers. Reality is, while that is certainly part of the story, the other part is... These are the unpaid debts owed to black communities for stolen labor, owed to, owed to native communities for stolen land. We were taught that it was the all-white lawmakers of the Reconstruction alone that shaped post-slavery history, ignoring the efforts of the abolitionists, black statesmen, and scholar activists whose work demanded that they define America just as much. Nineteen ninety-two, the year of the L.A. Rodney King uprising. The mainstream media coverage, largely led by white men, cemented the impression of out-of-control looters. The reality is, it was a missed opportunity for white America to hear the long-suffering, disenfranchised black community. White privilege has, among its myriad hidden advantages, a history written in such a way that we don't have to acknowledge uncomfortable facts. 